What does it mean to flee? Eh? You have too much English. Flee means flee. Flee in the Greek is a word to run away from war and run away from danger. You know how people run away from war? Eh? That is how to flee. Or you are inside a house. Fire starts burning the house. Do you wear trousers? Eh? You say, okay, okay, let me wear trousers. Ah, this fire, why did you tell me you were coming? You will not even remember that you didn't wear trousers. You will jump out first before you say, ah, <laughs> I didn't wear trousers. <laughs> Run away from war. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good day. Whatever you are watching from. No, I. I so much appreciate you people who like what you are doing. And please, if it's, if this is your first time of coming across our video like this, please, I want you to share and to like and share for people to know what we are doing. You know, our mandate still remains to be introducing Christ to this generation, equipping the believers to do. The work of ministry. You know, everyone is called to the gospel. I mean everybody. Once you are born on this earth, you are born to to do ministry. No one is born to, to be sitting down in the church listening to a man of God always teach. You are born to teach and you are born to preach this gospel. So this program that is playing or that, that is to watch the short things, I'm going to play, I'm going to put the put the full video of it for you to watch. I know that it will take long. It's about 18 minutes, but I want you to have patience. Listen to this video. And if you are a Christian, that you desire self-control in whatever that you are doing, that maybe your mind has been going up and on to things which is not uh, okay to you, based on what is happening in social media. Like, you're not open social media, now. you either see a woman that is naked, that's wearing underwear, this kind of thing. You know? And this video will help you a lot, I bet you. And I, and I know that this video will sort this out for you. Please, if you are a Christian who is struggling with, with that, I want you to watch this video. And as you watch it, please share this, share this video for others to see. Because that's the same message that God is saying. Also, preach it or also share it for others again. Who, who is in the same condition or situation to also know and have a turn around. In their mind. Remember, repentance is a change of mind, the mindset of a thing. Not a character, but a mindset. So remain blessed and this will come to you. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Self-control will inspire actions. Let's see the actions. Now, quickly, quickly, quickly. How many of you remember that temperance is a fruit of the spirit? So that you won't think I'm teaching, teaching sex education. No. We are teaching you sound Bible here. We are unveiling to you your identity. That in your, in your DNA, you have self-control. That's what we are teaching you here. That this is who you are. A man that has control over his appetite and desires. That's who you are. Glory. Glory. So, what are the actions? Let's look at the actions. Somebody say actions. That means there are actions you will take that shows that you are in control. 1 Corinthians 6.18. Let's look at the actions. <clears throat> Flee fornication. Action 1. Flee fornication. Flee. He doesn't say Stand there and be saying, sin shall not have dominion over me. Sin shall not have dominion over me. He said, flee. Because you'll be saying, sin shall not have dominion over you. You'll finish all the sin and still be saying, sin shall have dominion over me. <laughs> Paul said, flee. What does it mean to flee? Eh? You have too much English. Flee means flee. <laughs> flee in the Greek is a word to run away from war and run away from danger. You know how people run away from war? Eh? 
That is how to flee. Or you are inside a house. Fire starts burning the house. Do you wear trousers? Eh? You say, okay, okay. Let me wear trousers. Ah, this fire. Why did you tell me you were coming? You will not even remember that you didn't wear trousers. You will jump out first before you say, ah, <laughs> I didn't wear trousers. <laughs> Run away from war. Run is the word fugeti. That's a Greek word for flee. P H E U G E T E. Fugeti. It means to run from danger. First Corinthians chapter ten verse fourteen. <clears throat> Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. First of all, flee from fornication. Now. Flee from idolatry. Matthew 10, 23. <clears throat> but when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you, you shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. To run away from danger, to avoid destruction, you run very fast. You're gone. Maybe there's a relationship that demands that you run. What are you waiting for? Maybe there are things you need to run from today. Books, movies, songs, musicals that you play all the time. Movies you watch, books you're reading. Flee from fornication. Flee from it. Flee from where it is written. Flee from where fornication is suggested. Flee from the people who indulge in it. Flee from any book or magazine where fornication is celebrated. Flee from any social media page, uh, Instagram page, TikTok page where sex is celebrated. Flee. You are breaking down the walls of your city. And very soon, enemies will come in and there will be no defense. See, <laughs> Satan's emissaries don't attack you when the defenses are high. He will first of all push you into territories where you'll be so relaxed to lay down your guard. When you have laid down the guard, he strikes. Don't get yourself into an environment where you have no defenses. And start quoting scriptures. Flee! When you have escaped, you can stand from afar and be quoting scriptures. At least you are safe now. Glory to God. Enjoying 30 days? In 1 Thessalonians, Chapter 4, verse 3. Look at what he also says. The actions of temperance. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication. Abstain. Flee. Second Timothy 2.22 Flee also youthful lusts, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace. With them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Flee youthful loss. In self-control, you give yourself instructions. Because it's self-governance. You give yourself yourself instructions that sanitize you. You rebuke yourself. You talk to yourself. You advise yourself. And then you instruct yourself. Because God has given you the ability. You tell yourself, I will not do this. I will not do that. Friends you have who, who are used to swear words. Who are used to filthy talks. And that relationship. You know, man is a product of influence. That's why you must flee. 
self-control will make you avoid places and avoid things. If you know very well that sin walks through desire, it means therefore you have to be aware before you act. So you can block sin from the information channel. Block sin from the information channel. Watch the right things. Listen to the right kind of music. So you stay very safe. Listen to songs with godly lyrics. Let me tell you something. Music influences appetite. Music influences appetite. It influences how you think. So you can decide the kind of music you listen to. Oh yes. Control the kind of things you watch and the kind of things you listen to. There are some, some stations on different television providers. There are certain channels you don't even go to. Because music influences appetite. It influences how you think. Because music makes you meditate effortlessly. Because music is a repetition of lyrics with a melody that relaxes your defenses while the lyrics are having their impact. That's music. Before you know it, your body is swinging. Before you know it, it has become your devotion. Very subtle. Music is subtle. So you mind the lyrics you listen to? When you're watching a film and you see SNL on top, it's not spirit and love of God. SNL means sex, nudity. A language. What can be stronger than that? S N L. You see, this is exactly the kind of films I like watching. When your conscience was tender and you're watching TV and you see people trying to kiss, you close your eye. Your conscience was tender. But now they are having sex on television. You even want to enter the TV. Your conscience is gone. Your conscience. Akwenge. is gone. You know, Akwenge is really BBS. <laughs> conscience don't work out. Where you have come now, you can carry a gun and shoot somebody. Because no more. It's gone. Your innocence has been corrupted. You're no more innocent. Just be looking at sex, raw sex. You're watching. As if that's the way you watch Bibles, Bible verses. You are, when you're reading Bible, you miss tenses. But not those things. You lack self-control. You have forgotten who you are. Your appetites are always fed and bred with things you see and things you hear. Your appetites, they are usually fed and bred with things you see and things you hear. So if you want to starve those useless appetites, if you want to starve certain appetites to death, stop listening to the things you were listening to and stop watching. Those appetites will start starving. You're not possessed. You just don't have control. You're not possessed. No. Except you're not born again. You're not possessed. It's just that you lack self-control. And because you lack self-control, you let down your fences. And because you let down your fences, Satan has come into your mind with suggestions that you are buying and is influencing your thought process, which results in your lifestyle. You are not possessed. And all you need is to starve those appetites. 
If it was music, stop listening to it. If it were movies, stop watching those movies. If it was friends, keep them away. There are friends to stay away from if you're going to walk in the spirit. There are places you avoid if you're going to walk in the spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13. There are no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful. He will not allow you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. So it's not demonic. And it is not bigger than you. I don't care how long you've been in that, that addiction. I don't care how long you've been in that condition. It's not bigger than you. No, 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 no. Because there are abilities inside you, the new creation man, that are stronger than anything that Satan can offer. No, they are not bigger than you. God will not allow you to be tempted above what you can handle. And yet, he will give you ways of escape. See, I hear you. Yes. You are in victory. You are God's best product. Created in his image. No temptation is greater than you. So in self-control, you also use your eyes. Control your eyes. When certain things you're looking at are not inspiring you, take your eyes. What happened to David now? David saw Bathsheba batting. There's nothing wrong in mistakenly seeing somebody batting. It can happen to anybody. Eh? Eh? It can happen to anybody. But he stayed and kept watching. If he had just seen and taken his eyes off and walked away, that would have been the end. But he sat there. He began to do forensics. Then his desire drew him. And he sent for her. Killed her husband. Then David said, I have made a covenant with my eyes. After that encounter, he said, I swear, this is my eye. Me and my eye, we have a covenant that I will not behold a woman. I will not behold. You know behold? Behold. He didn't say, I will not see a woman, but I will not behold. That is, I could look at a woman like this, bless you, and take my eyes away. But I will not focus. And start undressing a lady, even though her clothes are on. That's beholding. That's beholding. When you do that, all your fences are down. Control your mouth. Don't talk carelessly. Control your hands. Control your legs. You know how you use your legs? How you control them? In fleeing. Today in the age of technology, mind the Facebook pages you follow, TikTok, and WhatsApp. Control yourself. There are some friends on Facebook. You don't only remove them. You block and delete. Facebook page is your house. Is there any house they don't sweep every day? Eh? Some of you just open Facebook and leave it you. Ah! Weeds are growing. Wild grasses all over your page. Anybody can drop his, drop his nonsense on your page and you are, you are not worried. You have the responsibility. This guy is always showing this nude woman on his page and he's showing on my page, blocked. You go. Uh, you, you always display can car products. Out. You. Every time you go through, you weed. Every time you go through, you win. We have a public page for Abel Damina, but there are a, over a thousand or two or three have been blocked from that page because they serve not the things of God. And consistently, we are still blocking, even on YouTube. It's your responsibility to weed, 
clean your compound. Your compound is not a dustbin. Your page is not a trash bin. Temperance. He that striveth for mastery is temperate in all things. In how many things? In all things. Say self-control. Can I hear you say it again? You know, if you don't see it, you won't think it. If you don't think it, you won't say it. So stop yourself from seeing it. If you don't see it, you won't think it. If you don't think it, you won't say it. So stop yourself from seeing it. Don't forget, you are a product of influence. Don't lower your fences for anything under the sun. Glory to God. Say with me, I have self-control. Say, I'm born of the spirit. Say, the spirit of God is my nature. I have self-control. I have divine abilities on my inside. Say it again. I have divine abilities. Say, God gives me abilities. And because of those abilities, I obey God naturally. I didn't hear a powerful amen.